The Tale of Eagle, written and told by July Leonard. After Allegretti was sent away back to the mainland by ship, the fat director had decided to bring in another tender engine. His name was Eagle. He was a Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway Hughes Class 28260 mogul, painted red with yellow and black lining, two small wheels in front, six driving wheels behind, and a six-wheel 3,500 gallon Fowler tender with black on the tender wheels. He was mainly a mixed traffic engine who seemed to be a friendly sort to the other engines and help them out when needed. The fat director was very pleased with Eagle. You're doing very well for a mixed traffic engine, he said. You are much more suitable, red engine, than the last one. Eagle beamed. Oh, thank you, sir, he replied. One partly cloudy day, he was to take a local passenger train to the other end of the line at Knapford Station. Thomas, who was the station pilot shunting engine at the time, arranged his coaches. Here are your coaches, J e Eagle, he said. Good luck. Thank you, Thomas, came the reply. As soon as Eagle backed onto the coaches, the passengers boarded, the signal went green, the guard blew his whistle and waved his green flag. He took the strain and set out of Vickerstown. He was soon enjoying himself flying along the line. Ah, yes, what a life, he complimented. Eventually, they reached Knapford. Eagle turned around on the turntable at Tidmouth and they started back. Along the journey back, however, after passing Crovin's Gate, his driver noticed something outside the two-road tunnel near Vickerstown. Whoa there, Eagle, he said. Something's not right, he added, as he shut off steam and stopped the train. Henry's guard walked over to the cab. Henry has stopped at the other end of the tunnel, refusing to come out, he said. We've already tried pulling and pushing, but nothing worked. We'll do everything we can, replied Eagle's driver. Then they and the firemen walked over to the other side. Now Henry had stopped at the other end of the tunnel because he was afraid that a few drops of rain would spoil his lovely green paint and red stripes. He stood there, refusing to move a yard and surrounded by a mob of angry passengers and even the fat director. They tried using a rope to pull and pushing from the other end, but it did no good. The two drivers, firemen, and guards even argued with him. Look, it has stopped raining, they all said. Yes, but it will begin again soon, said Henry. And what will become of my green paint red stripes then? The only option left was using Eagle, so they uncoupled him from his train and brought him up behind Henry. The fact director came out from the other end to watch. Right then, he said, you may push when ready. Here goes, came the reply of determination as Eagle blew his whistle and started puffing and pushing. He pushed and puffed and puffed and pushed as hard as ever he could. But still, Henry stayed in the tunnel. Come on, come on, come on, he bellowed as smoke, steam, and sparks bellowed from his funnel and wheels. Finally, he gave up. No movement at all, he panted. I'm sorry, sir. The fat director was cross and walked back to Henry. Very well, Henry, he said at last. We shall leave you here for always and always and always. He then ordered, he, he then ordered Henry's coaches to be uncoupled and Eagle to take his train on. But what about my coaches? Pondered Eagle. Edward will take your train for the time being, came the sharp reply, and Eagle reluctantly accepted. A few days later, 
the fact director came over to Vickerstown Sheds to see Eagle. Eagle, I've just received word from your controller that you're needed back, he said. What's wrong with me being here? replied Eagle, puzzlingly. You've been a hard worker here, but it's time you return to the mainland, replied the fact director. I'm sure your controller will allow you to visit here for regular passenger and goods trains any other times, if I can make the arrangements. As you wish, sir. Eagle trundled sadly away. In the meanwhile, the fact director made arrangements with Eagle's controller on the phone about Eagle visiting his railway again for regular passengers and goods, and it was approved. Eagle would often and sometimes... Would some, Eagle would sometimes visit the Northwestern Railway for regular mixed traffic work, and he and Edward would stand up to the bigger engines for Thomas. And we can only hope that Eagle had always helped the other engines when in need to be really useful. Don't you?